So with all that set up, let's talk about DevOps now. We've talked about some of these pain points. We've talked about the wastes. Let's talk about what DevOps is and how can DevOps help someone like Globomatics and then obviously, hopefully you as well. So the whole goal is adding value and improving flow. How can I deliver more customer value by improving the flow throughout my organization, reducing waste, recognizing some shared pain, and trying to collectively improve some of that flow so that, frankly, I can make more money for my company. That's really the point. The point is how can I add value, typically revenue, money, financial impact, to my organization. If we take a step back and think about lean, this is something that you'll see in the manufacturing space and worthy of much more than a slide. But if we quickly talk about what lean really means, it'll set things up for DevOps. So in lean, you're focusing on customer value. The goal of lean isn't to cut costs, it's to free up resources so you can actually focus on adding value. Significant attention on time being a very important thing, but being making sure I'm freeing up time to deliver value. It's about eliminating waste. It's working systematically to get rid of any non-value added process. So I'm achieving these goals with the least amount of effort and waste. That's really a key part of what lean means in manufacturing. Cycle times, reducing cycle time. How long work takes to accomplish is a cycle time. How do I shrink that so that I'm able to accomplish work faster? In software, this could be something. How long does it take to actually ship software and to deliver software from feature to deployment? Really, the philosophy here, I mean, reducing that time from the customer order in manufacturing to delivery by eliminating any of the sources of waste in that production flow. Shared learning is a big part of it. Continuous incremental improvement. It's sharing information. It's sharing across teams, not having lone experts or siloed knowledge, but actually collectively learning together. Avoiding batching. This is concepts of work being pulled, not pushed. I'm not pushing it to each thing where it piles up but instead having an efficient process where I'm only pulling work when I'm ready for it and what I need. So I avoid batching work, moving it from piece to piece. I'm thinking of the flow of the system so that things are really hitting each stage when they need to. I don't do things before they're required by the next step. And then finally, the theory of constraints. Really the idea here of finding bottlenecks, not trying to improve the whole system, but going from constraint to a constraint. I can only go as fast, my system, as my constraints. It's great I if I try to optimize other stuff, I guess, but if that constraint, that bottleneck is keeping me from doing something, the optimization elsewhere doesn't really make an impact. I can only go as fast as my bottleneck. So secondly, you try to exploit that constraint, get as much out of it as you can, subordinate every other decision to that constraint, get everyone else on board, and finally, elevate it, even throw more resources or capacity if none of those other things have worked. So that's a quick look at what lean is. There's courses on this. Obviously, there's a whole discipline on really adopting lean. But why does this matter in a DevOps discussion? Mainly from the principle, Gene Kim is a great thought leader in the space of DevOps. But IT is the factory floor of this century. It was a recent quote of his in a Wall Street Journal article. That that's a big thing. It's not just for manufacturing companies, this concept of lean. IT is increasingly how all business acquires customers and delivers value to them. That's what Gene said. So... In his words, DevOps is the result of implementing lean principles to the IT value stream. How am I shortening lead time, reducing the friction between dev and ops? How am I doing those things we just talked about with lean? Increasing the cycle time, or reducing the cycle time rather. Removing waste, doing those sort of things, shared learning. All of those are key in lean, and DevOps is really lean for IT. Super smart DevOps guy John Willis explain DevOps with this CAMS acronym, Culture, Automation, Monitoring, and Sharing. Really, the idea of thinking of DevOps is a cultural movement that aligns people, processes, tech, towards a common goal of eliminating waste and increasing value. That's what DevOps is. DevOps isn't a product someone's going to sell you. DevOps isn't a edict from a CIO who said, we're doing DevOps now. DevOps isn't a new team that's going to go ahead and run around and automate things. DevOps is a, a, a fundamental cultural change, but also with some accompanying technologies. So, I mean, the culture piece, people process has to be there first, right? If you don't have the culture, your automation is minimal impact, might even be fruitless at the end of the day, because you're simply not going to deliver to the core principles. But automation is huge. Once you've been able to get your culture in line, then you can start to actually use tools to build together a DevOps capability from an automation standpoint and actually realizing the real value of some of those principles. Measurement's huge. The old saying, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. And so in good DevOps, you really do measure so that you can do continuous improvement, so you can do shared understanding of the health of your pipeline and your project.
Sharing is huge. Sharing is about really having true feedback loops, not just dev telling ops things, not just dev telling others. It's ops being able to feedback the development. It's all of the organizations having a way to share information to improve things. And so that's a huge part where I am sharing ideas, where other organizations are sharing their pain so everyone can collectively feel it. Why does all this matter? Why does DevOps matter? These surveys, you look at the Puppet Labs recently did a state of DevOps survey and others, where you're seeing that DevOps teams and organizations that adopt DevOps spend less time putting out fires, more time on customer tickets and actually addressing pain points, much faster recovering from failures, which if you assume they're inevitable, that's huge. Even improving the company valuation, that companies are more valuable. You can make some inferences from these surveys because of this sort of capability and just even higher job satisfaction. People are happier in these environments because they are realizing value faster. There's a better culture of learning and sharing and collaboration, not of silos and headbutting. So the goal is to make companies more money if you're in any team that isn't the one generating the revenue for the company. And so as I look at DevOps, the real reason you should care about this is because it is something that many organizations are adopting. It can make a huge difference within an organization because you can spend more time on value-added activities. Thank you.